Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Uh, what is up guys, my name is Zuba from Jeva today, um, it's, you know, it's been a month again, uh, started my junior year of high school, so it's gonna be, uh, harder to maintain, I guess, uh, the, the current schedule, but I'll definitely try to upload as much as I can, so, uh, today we're gonna be talking about, uh, JS scripting, or JavaScript, uh, scripting in 5M. Uh, we're going to be doing constant loops, so uh, let's get started. I'm going to open up my server folder. Uh, I'm going to go here to resources, and then I'm going to create a new resource. I'm going to call it um, JS Thread. And then uh, in here, we're going to, I'm just going to open up uh, VS Code here, and I'm going to be creating my files. You could do this to Explorer if you want, I don't care. I'm going to be creating a resource uh, Lua, like always. I'm also going to be creating a weight.js file and also a main.js file. And I'll tell you what these files are for. Main is obviously for main, so here let's um, client scripts. Uh, client scripts, and then uh, uh, we're going to do weight.js, and then we're also going to do main.js so in here in the weight.js or actually yeah so let's start off with the weight.js so weight.js the thing is in javascript scripting when you're in a uh, thread or a, what's called a constant tick like if we were to do uh, our main thread like there's no weight like there's no uh, citizen dot weight uh, in javascript so you have to create a function so uh, we're actually gonna be doing that right now. So it's just gonna be really simple. Uh, it's just gonna be we're gonna call it weight is equal to the parameter ms or the function. Just a call the or arrow function of a new promise. Now you probably don't know what most of this means. It's fine. Just uh, write it along. I'll tell you what it pretty much. I'll try to sum it up what it means. So I'm just gonna have a parameter resolve and then another arrow function callback of uh, just set timeout Oops, shoot set timeout um, and we're gonna pass in the resolve from this promise because we're not using rejects or which is what promises are for we are not using the rejects and then we need to make it wait for the amount of milliseconds we have here so uh, pretty much what this is gonna do is just do what citizen dot wait does in Lua but uh, in JavaScript, so wait is, it'll just make it wait for the amount of time that you've set it as. So uh, that should be good for that. Now let's go into our main.js here. And um, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be making a uh, constant loop <clears throat> that'll be running forever, I guess, or indefinitely. So we're gonna do set tick. Uh, and then this has a callback of, uh, an async callback and then I spelled that wrong didn't I yeah async oh no I didn't never mind uh, it's just yeah I didn't make it a callback so then uh, this has to be async for the wait to work because we have to make it wait for it so we have to do a wait um, wait uh, so we're gonna make this let's make it send a message every one second so that's one second is 1,000 milliseconds. So this pretty much is the equivalent to, uh, here, I'll, I'll write this in Lua, or I'll do a little bit of Lua here. So what we just wrote is pretty much like citizen.create thread. Uh, I actually don't know if this is create thread. I don't really remember, but uh, create thread. I think I spelled something wrong there, but whatever. And this is a function. Uh, and and then it's pretty much the set tick thing. What we just wrote is while well, true, uh, and then end. Uh, I th this is probably wrong, obviously, but like I'm just trying to make it show 
what we just did right here is what this does without this but let's just do citizen dot wait 1000 and pretty much this is the equivalent to what we just wrote here so it's a lot less it's a little more neat if you say and it's also asynchronous which is awesome so I'm just gonna get rid of that because it's wrong I think I don't even know but uh, so uh, before we uh, our JS chat thing resource we used exports or no we created an event that chats so we're just gonna be using that event today I just you don't need a copy if you want but I'm just gonna be showing you how this works so I'm gonna do emit net then I'm gonna do JS chat JS chat and then um, we're just gonna make it send out we're gonna be creating a variable called tick uh, which is equal to zero and we're just gonna make it count up every one second so we'll just do tick plus plus because pretty much what tick plus plus is uh, tick it's just gonna be adding one to it each time which is just what that means pretty much so uh, yeah that we're gonna make that do that and then uh, it's also I'm gonna ha I have a function here function text right here that I copied what this does uh, it, we just it's just gonna be uh, outputting uh, this J JavaScript logo that I drew or I didn't really draw but like I kind of figured out the values on the bottom right of our screen right here where my mouse is if you can even see it but uh, yeah it's just it is the, I'm just using this text function just to show you that when you're using text or when you're using uh, draw text in JavaScript you don't need to wait you just need to make it set tick so I'm gonna do I'm gonna create another one because I don't want it to it'll be like uh, really uh, it'll just be you don't want it under a uh, wait you don't want the text to wait because it'll just be really weird and it'll uh, I don't know the word but it'll just look like it's turning on and off constantly which isn't good which is not what we want so we're just gonna make it uh, constantly run uh, like without a wait so I'm just gonna do text just like that and boom that's literally that's how it is so uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, this isn't that big of a script. I just want to show you how loops work, uh, like how I wrote uh, that Lua version, how it works in JavaScript. So you can be doing a bunch of stuff with that. So I'm gonna actually start up my server here, and uh, I'll see you guys um, when I'm actually in the server. Hold on, let me start the resource here. Just start JS thread. I'm not adding this to my uh, server.cfg because um, it's just going to be constantly outputting stuff. Just I just wanted to make this resource just to show you how uh, you know loops work. Like I said again, so I'll, I'll be back when the, I'm in the server. Okay, so um, so now I'm in the server, and you can already see that it's constantly outputting the tick number. So it's how we made the script here was that every second. Uh, sorry about my computer. You know you know how it likes to die, but. Uh, every second it's gonna be counting up so you can see that it's at 31 32 33 and you could also see that um, right here the JavaScript logo on the bottom I try to draw my best in 5m but that's just as good as it gets you can see that it's being drawn constantly now if we were to add a weight even of zero um, it will look really uh, sporadic I think that's the word for it but uh, let me restart yeah, and you could also see that that event uh, puts it in the uh, um, console which is not good but that's just how I made that event that chat event so I'm gonna do the restart what is this called JS thread I think and you can see that even if we have a weight of zero milliseconds uh, it's gonna be like looking like that which isn't good on the bottom right um, I don't even know if you could see it but it's really oh shoot um, I don't even know if this is like you can't even see that, but that's really weird. Um, it's not even it's you can't even see it on it, that's really weird on OBS. You can't even it looks constant. That's really weird. I've actually never seen that before, but um, uh, yeah, you can't even notice it in OBS. Uh, you can't see it. You can barely see it. It's supposed to be right here. It's going crazy right now, but for some reason OBS is not able to pick that up. Let me change this to one second so you guys can see it better. That's really weird. I've never seen that before. But you can see that every second it's popping up uh, which isn't good for text and stuff. But uh, yeah, you don't want that. You just want this to be constantly running. 
uh, if you want to output text like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to be making more videos with Lua too. Don't worry if you guys love Lua. Uh, I just love JavaScript a lot more. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, have a good one.